Alrighty, welcome back everyone to some more Dark Souls. I'm over here. You might be wondering, where the fuck am I? This is not where I was before. And you'd be right, because I chose to uh, just come back here. I bought a bow. I'm going to try to get that claymore. I don't know if I want to use that weapon, but I'll see anyway. But what I want to do here is... I believe damage him a bit. So I don't know how to... I forgot how to use the bow. What the fuck? Oh, right. Uh, let's this thing. I think if you shoot him enough... Whoops. How do you... How do you... Oh, there we go. You piss him off, he just flies away. Well... Ah, oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so anyway, yeah, that was... That was kind of what uh, I wanted to do, and I forgot how to do it. But yeah, he's gonna just piss him. He's gonna get pissed off now, and I was just like, okay. I think at some point he leaves. Uh. Yeah, I don't know when he leaves, but I think he goes home. At some point. Uh. He's not very happy about this, I don't think. Yeah, okay, so I... Hmm. I do believe I've botched this. Ah, you fucker. Hmm. He is quite pissed. Okay, so I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I think what we gotta run. F oh, he's back! What the fuck? All right, well, that sucks. Okay, I. Okay, that's fine. I think now we wanna. Hello? Oh, 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 oh! I don't think he was happy about that one. Fuck, come on, man. Oh, is it gone? Nope. Okay, my, my, my head is getting singed quite badly right now. Okay, what we want to do is we want to just run straight through here. Just dodge that shit. Yep, just ignore that. That's fine. Ignore that. Okay, yep, just roll straight through that. That's fine. That's just irrelevant. And perfect. Just exactly what we wanted. That was perfectly executed. Alright, so there's the dragon. He's pissed off. We don't really care that much. Uh, let me just switch my other weapon here. He's, he's toasting me a little bit. That's fine. I'm just gonna quickly stand over here, quaff a little potion, and I'm gonna rest in the bonfire. Quick! And I believe he should be gone now. I think. Yeah, you rest of this bonfire and now the Hellkite Drake is gone. So we did it, we beat the evil. Alright, excellent. Then we go over here and we're like, oh, what's going on over here? And you can see the Hellkite Drake disappearing off into the sunlight. Cool. Uh, Celeste's supposed to be here, I don't know why he's not, but that's fine. Um, anyway. It's all good. Oops. So, last- I- 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 I've decided that I'm just gonna start recording these videos by myself. I'm not gonna try to like wait for you guys or do it one a day. I think I'm just too stressed right now, so I'm just trying to um I'm just trying to like record the videos. Apologies if people um wanted to like provide input, but yeah, just for the time being, just understand that like the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm stressed as fuck. And uh I enjoy playing Dark Souls, so you know. Oh, there we go. Really. Like, so just keep in mind that, like, sometimes the videos will be a bit out of date, I guess. Or, like, I'll have recorded more than what I post. Uh, so we got our Claymore. That's really good. I think the Claymore was pretty much what we wanted to use as a weapon. It's considered one of the better weapons in the game. Um, has a great moveset, has a lot of damage, has really good scaling stuff. Uh, yeah, like, it's just a really strong weapon. The two-handed weapon swing set is really good this is the heavy attack 
I think like the rolling attack is really good. Like the, that thrust. Uh, one hand has got a really great moveset as well. It's got like a whole bunch of swings. It's got a thrust move, which is really good. So it's a really great sword in general. So I might end up using this weapon, but I've been really enjoying this. Uh, I've actually really been enjoying this gargoyle's halberd. I haven't been, I haven't used it very often, so it's kind of exciting to use. That running attack is really nice to use. Anyway, uh, I was gonna come back here. The reason why I recorded this instead of just like uh, skipping or coming back to the dark root garden is because there's a guy up here that I forgot to mention. Ow! All right, that was my entry into this series. Let me drink a potion real quick. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to avoid this man as best we can. Fuck, man. Okay, Esther's coughing in this game is quite, uh, quite rough. Okay, let's backstab. Oh, that's some good damage. Okay, let me switch to one-handed just to avoid getting killed here. The nice thing about this halberd is really long reach. Okay, backstab. Good. Achah. Okay, and backstab. Nice. Another Black Knight dead. I hope he drops his weapon. <gasps> Nice. This is a weapon. 32 strength. Okay, well, I can't wield it right now, but this is a weapon I want to try using because I heard it was pretty damn good. And it looks pretty sick as well. Okay, I'm going to try to, like, level up my stats so I don't embarrass myself trying to use this weapon. Um, I don't remember exactly how the dex plus strength modifier works. I think I need 1.2. 1.5 times my strength or some shit. I don't know. Uh, level up. I think if I do this, and then I level up my dex a little bit more, I should be able to use this weapon soon. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how two-handing it works. I will want to use this at some point, though. It's an ultra great sword. It looks sick. Uh, yeah, that, that might be my late-game like weapon. I'll have a look. Anyway, let me go back. So we're traveling through this area again, just kind of going through it. Uh, I'm not going to really try my best to kill everything here, I'm just going to run at it. But again, look, this this weapon is like pretty sick actually. The first strike is like really long range and you step forward as well, it's really fun to use. And the running slice is like, it's really high damage, it's like 153 or some shit. Um, yeah, feels good to use, I don't know. I've been enjoying it. Slice. See what I mean? Like, that's like a really quick slice. Titan shard, awesome. Uh, what's this? Slice. Okay, avoid the backstab from him. Swing, swing. And swing. Awesome. I mean, like, like I said, I, I'm looking to have a bit of fun with these weapons rather than trying too hard to like only use the claymore or the, the uh you know rather, rather than just using the claymore or shit i, I want to like actually use a cool weapon black knight greatsword might not be cool for some people but i don't know it looks looks cool to me i haven't used it before so yeah let me run down here can i wield this black knight greatsword now? I might need to level some decks just to make it more even. I think this weapon scales off both strength and decks, I believe. Yeah, B and E scaling, so it's a really good weapon. Let me level up my dexterity real quick. I'm gonna need. I don't know how two handing this weapon works with regards to great swords. I know that the dex requirement has to be met, but the strength requirement doesn't. So, 32. What's one and a half times. What, how much strength do I have? 
21, so that's not enough. I need, I think, one more strength, and then I'll just level dex two times, and I should be able to two-hand this weapon. If that's how I, I think that's how I understand weapons to work. Uh, let me switch this great halberd. Like I said, I've really enjoyed this uh, halberd so far. It's been really fun to use. Well, um, here's me. Andre. Let me go and reinforce this weapon. Plus two. There we go. Now it's plus two. It's doing a pretty good amount of damage okay. now. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I I have no intent to like. Uh, stick too much to like optimal weapons. I just want to play around. I'll use stuff that's like probably mid to high tier rather than just what's exceptional. Uh, anyway, so we got a couple of things here. I forget what's over here, but there's a few things we can deal with. Uh, here's a shambling mangrove. I really changed this character up. But things are going to get a little hard from here. I have to. I have to be very cautious. We're in Dark Root Garden now. I'm actually going to take a quick detour, just because I think I can get something cheesy over here. If I go down this route. Oh, this is a very spoopy area. Okay. Just some stuff, you know. Dark Root Basin. Yep, yeah, that's where we want to be, I think. This is actually a place where a lot of speedrunners go. Um to find certain things, but for me it's more just like, I want to go get Havel's Ring if I can. Makes my life easier. Smack. Oh my god, is there no hitbox there? Okay, there we go. Twinkling Titanite, Large Titanite Shot. Awesome. Okay, so... There's some gear here that I kind of want. So, back in the tower before the Taurus Demon that we fought, there was a bunch of stuff that I wanted. Let me... Can I go down here? Yeah. It's got some leather stuff. Longbow and feather arrows. It's nice. I think there was a shield somewhere around here as well. It wasn't here. Okay. It's down. Down below. I believe there is a black knight around here. Possibly. Or I may have been misunder misremembering this. Is there a Black Knight? There he is, yeah, okay. He's got a Black Knight Halberd, which is probably what I want. Oh, fuck me. Okay, I really want to, like, not get shit on here. Let me go. There we go. Backstab. Free cheesy hit. Ideally, we just don't randomly have to. Can, please, please let, please let me in. Okay, no, no man. Okay, back step, please. Okay, no. Okay. Go up here, so he gets confused. He doesn't know what's happening. You and me are brothers of the halberd. Just keep my shield up because I can't see. There we go, got it. Blue Titan Trunk. Damn it, no halberd. Okay, that's unlucky. Got a grass crest shield, which is nice. And there's actually a little cave here with a bonfire. But we're not going to rest at the bonfire just because it's, uh, it's not really where we want to be right now. Um, but if you go here, you can actually get to Blight Town, which is pretty cool. So, going into this little cave here takes you to this area, which lets you go to, I think, Valley of Drakes or some shit, which will take you to Blight Town. We're not super interested in that right now. We're, uh, we've got other things to do at the moment. So, we're gonna go and deal with some other stuff first. Let's get ourselves a little bit more uh, EXP. Like, interestingly enough, I play Dark Souls enough to the point where, like, it's almost like Crawl in the terms of uh, what the build order is or, like, what the general progression of the game is. Like, I like to go to Dark Root Basin before I go to uh, Blight Town. You know, that kind of numbing, mind-numbing shit. Anyway, so we're coming over here. Now there's uh, 
It's like a big ass Hydra over there. I don't want to really fuck with him right now. Just I'm just here to get a couple of free things. But you can see there's a big Hydra. You might can't really see him. He's in the distance. Oh, there's a Crystal Golem. Uh, he's he's a bit of a dick. Um. Pretty sure this guy like will probably kill me in like two hits, so I need to be kind of careful. Thankfully, he isn't very uh, fast right now. Sweet, it's one down. Oh, maybe this isn't a very difficult enemy. They're very slow. That's nice. Just kind of sit behind him and chop, chop. Sweet. Okay, this is the hard part, I think. So we're gonna go up here to this area of the game, and we're gonna go to a very familiar tower. This is the bottom of the tower, just before the Taurus demon. It's locked. Fuck! I don't have a master key. Really? Oh shit. Okay, never mind. This might be. All right, jokes. Never mind. All right, I'm too used to playing with the master key. I just assumed I unlocked it already. Fuck me. All right, well that's fine. Uh, can we kill this Hydra? I doubt it. Look at him. Asshole. Wait, what is that? Oh, oh I forgot about that. Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, he's... He's not happy about that. Ah, they added high. Why did they add Water Blast to Hydras, to be honest? Alright, well, I guess we won't use Havel's in this game. Uh, I'll probably come back to it a little later, then. If that's the case. I don't know when I'll come back, but yeah. I don't remember where Havel's... The, the key to Havel's ring is. Maybe I had to buy it off Andre or some shit. Either way, I'll just ignore it for now. Alright. Oops. Got excited by that Titanite bug. Please, let me in. Oh, this rock. Anyway, so... Uh, Dark Red Basin just gives us a little bit of extra... I guess, um, I don't know, explain it's like, just gives us a bit of extra EXP, we can level up, get some good stuff before we go into the depths. Oh wait, that's where we're supposed to go next, hey. Maybe we don't have to go here. Let me think. Do you want to go here or the depths? Uh, how about we just get the bonfire for now? And then after that we can talk about what we're doing. Anyway, this is creepy ass, like, fucking trees. Shambling mangroves. They're a real pain in my ass. Uh, uh, there's an item up there. I see you, asshole. I see you over there. No, I think I don't see you. I'm trying to be sneaky and shit. God, please let me hit. There we go. Oh, that was a big hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, they're dropping like moss clumps, which is basically like anti-status effect potions. It's pretty useful, I guess. Uh, I just don't want to get, like, surrounded by anything. Large soul, cool. Okay, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, it looks like there's nothing here. Um, there's a little bit here, but look at this. It's a secret wall, and there's a bonfire here. Pretty cool. No, I can't level up anyway. Okay, well, I guess I'll go to the depths then, in that case, because this requires the Seal of Artorius, I believe, which you can buy from Andre for 20k souls. I'll do that when I do it. I don't know. I'll... Oh, wait, what? What is this? Oh, this is, um... Moonlight Butterfly. Uh, do we really want to kill it? Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. I think we do. So this is like some garden shit. There's like stone men over here. They're really annoying. Because they can slow you. And slow is painful. Okay, so yeah, when they start doing that channel shit, you need to kill them as quick as you can. Because... Otherwise you get slowed to fuck hell, and then the game's over. Alrighty, uh, there's a... Don't, don't think I didn't see you, man. I see you. What? That was weird. Okay. 
I probably should have locked on there, that's fine. What? What is the hitbox in this th What the fuck is the hitbox in this thing? Come on. There we go. I had to aim slightly left this time. Okay. Just kind of taking out some of the bad guys. Oh, he's casting the fucking slow move. That's not great. So now I can't roll. Oh my god. Am I gonna die here? Yeah. I got sliced in the back. Alright, fuck this place. I remember there's something important here that I was looking for. I think it's like a coal at the end of it that I want. So I might just dip in. I might just like it. You know what? Yeah, I might just like it. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. There's nothing really that valuable in here anyway. Um, there is a secret path. I don't really want to be bothered going through. Like, it's like here or some shit. You like hit this thing. And lo and behold, it's a real thing apparently. It's like an actual enemy. You can see it moving. Don't exp like I don't know why Dark Souls thinks this is a good game design, but it is. There's a whole bunch of this random shit. Like, there's like a secret passageway in here. I don't think there's anything like super valuable, so I don't want to really go down it for now. Um, but instead, what I want to do is I just want to run past all these assholes. This, uh, I guess I'll get my souls. Sure, why not? Waking up every fucking dickhead in the game. Yeah, whatever. Elite Knight stuff, cool. Thanks. See ya, bitches. See ya. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Where the fuck am I? Oh, fuck. Here we go. Get run past this asshole. Like, I could kill them. It's just a pain in the ass. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. Instead, I'm gonna go fight this guy up here. AKA the Moonlight Butterfly. This is a really interesting fight. It's a very strange boss fight for reals. Oh, there she is. Hello. She's like... I don't really know what the fuck's going on with this thing, but it shoots lasers. Why? Yeah, I have no idea. See, so uh... It just shoots lasers and then, like, you just kind of watch it. You're like, oh, what's going on here? Oh, and then it does that sometimes. And you're like, okay, that was cool. Roll. At some point, it's gonna like land, and then I just start wailing on its ass. Are, are you gonna? Hello? What the fuck? Hello? Can you rest on the thing, please? I. You're not letting me hit you, dude. What? I can't hit you. Can you? What the fuck? Okay. It has like a laser beam. This is a... What? Hello? I'm down here, you asshole. What the fuck? I can't hit you. Come on. What? Alright, I don't think this... I think this boss is glitched. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we just wail the fuck out of it. Yeah. 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 Roll, 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 roll! Yeah, nice. Alright. That was an easy phase. Yeah, this weapon's pretty nice, actually. I'll be real with you. Alright, now it's doing its stupid laser beam. <laughs> fucking zaps me. Alright. Yeah, you kind of use this bridge as cover. It's not, like I said, it's not a super crazy difficult boss, it's just, it's just a, like a bullet hell, I guess. Wah. Look at the dodge. Yeah. Come down here, asshole. Come on. Come on. You're tired. <laughs> it's the slowest boss fight ever. Come on! Whoa! I didn't even know that was a move. Okay. Oh, cool! It's coming down. Yeah. Let me just chop it up real quick. Ch 
Chuck. Got him. He was about to blow up, but I killed him. Alright, I got the soul of a moonlight butterfly. You can use that to, like, create shit, which is cool. Any humanity. Awesome. And then you come in here, and you go up the staircase. And you get 10,000 souls for it, too, which is really nice. I like this early in the game. It's just 10k souls for free. Let me go and run up this extremely long staircase. And then there's a dead guy, dead Andre. And you pick up the watchtower basement. Whoops. Whoops, that's where I was supposed to go. Uh, okay, well, that sucks. I was wondering where I got that basement key. Alright. Well, I guess I'm going back there then. Uh, let me level up first. Level up. Get some decks. Get some strength. Whoops. Whoops! Ah, fuck. Level up. Get some strength. Get some decks. I should be able to use this weapon two-handed now. I think. Yeah, I can use I can use this two-handed now. I can't roll though, so that's kind of sad. But can I roll with this? Nope. Okay. Nope. Can I use this? Which oh, that's heavier. Leather armor is heavier. That makes no sense. So I, I got this weapon now. Oops, it's only one-handed. Switch over to two-hand mode. Oh, it's got a cool move set. Nice. All right, let's go and get our second ring of the game, which is pretty much going to be the final ring of the game. This is a fucking weapon. Three thirty-five on the hit. Holy. All righty then. Now this is an ultra great sword. Ow, my fucking armor, Jesus. Okay, this thing hits like a beast, what the fuck? All right. Let me go quickly run this way. Oh, fuck. Swing. Let's see what the R2 is like. So, okay, that's the R2, okay. Cool. What about, do I have a roll hit? Okay, I got a thrust. It's kind of slow, but that's fine. Got block. Okay, that should be good. Enough. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly head over to Sens uh, to back to the blacksmith. Try to upgrade this thing. Um, rest of the bonfire, and then go back to the watchtower, and then homeward bone. This is gonna be good. I got the strands. Homeward bone, by the way, just teleports you back to the last bonfire. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Looks like some kind of dickhead, but that's fine. The great sword is great. It is very great. I have seen one of those. Oh, yes, before. this is like the, the ember of a divine blacksmith. My tube, I can produce divine. Yeah, so basically, the divine ember lets you infuse weapons with divine, but it's really irrelevant for us. We want to reinforce this weapon anyway. Uh, so we need. Fucking a lot of souls. I'll be seeing you there. Wait, do I not fast roll him? What the fuck? Or is it just. Yeah, I'm not fast rolling. What the hell? Ow. Wait, what? Why am I suddenly not fast rolling? Hello? Okay, there we go. Okay, I guess I, guess I wasn't fast rolling the whole time, I was just being a dumbass. So fast rolling in this game is really good. Like, you get the most invincibility frames out of your rolls. It's like fucking neat. Um, if you mid-roll, it's like okay, but I'd rather just fast roll whenever I can. In Dark Souls 3 though, mid-rolling is basically the only roll you do. There's no real point in going, dark, in going full fast roll. Which I appreciate, because it means that I can actually play the game properly. I don't know. When you have fast, after you like play fast roll enough, it's kind of hard to go back. It's like mid-rolling. Like, I have to stay underneath a certain encumbrance rating to ensure that I have the best possible, uh, oh god, fuck me. Yeah, in, in order to ensure that I have the best possible rolls, I gotta stay under the encumbrance, the weight limit, basically. Is it a good game design? Eh, probably. 
I mean, it makes sense. But given how, like, Doc Soulsy, sorry, like, given how, like, much rolling is important for Doc Souls, it pretty much means that everyone wants to be fast rolling in this game, if you can. Pretty much no one wants to be mid rolling, unless you're, like, doing a specific build, I would say. Anyway, remember this place? We're back. Uh, we're gonna try not to draw the attention of the golem, but if we if he comes, then whatever, we'll just kill him. We want to go up there to that watchtower, kill Havel. Uh, he's gonna fuck us in the butt, but that's right. We are strong and powerful and mighty. All right, so open this door. So watchtower basement key, and there's a guy right here. Fuck me! Oh my god, that's jump scare. All right. Uh... All right. So Havel is guarding the bottom of this watchtower. We don't want to mess with him too much. He basically is known for like one-shotting you, because um, his damage is really high. So what we want to do is just backstab his ass over and over again. With the Black Knight Greatsword, this is definitely not a hard fight, considering he just kind of rolls. And he just triple backstab. Like, if I if he hit me there any time, he probably would've one-shot me, but... He's not that kind of guy. Pick up Havel's Ring. So Havel's Ring is really great. Um, what it does is it boosts your max equip load. Uh, Lord Gwyn's old battlefield compatriot. Havel's men wore the ring to express faith in their leader to carry a bigger load. So you can see now that my equip load is 102. Without it, it's 68. It's fucking insane how much this ring is required. Uh, with it, I can fast roll with this armor on. Like, I might be able to just put the entire set on and I'd still be fine. Which is insanity, right? Like, yeah, I'm still fast rolling with all this shit on. That's crazy. Um, can I go with 30% equip load? No, okay, I, I can't go to that much. But I might be able to, like, switch to an elite, elite Knight helmet, yeah. Uh, I look like a dumbass, though, so I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I still look like a dumbass here, but, you know gotta have some respect. But anyway, that means that I have full armor now. I'm pretty strong. I can use my home, uh, Homeward Bone and GTF Oh, Awesome. And now I'm gonna make my way to the depths. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try to see if I can upgrade this sword a couple of times. Making a plus two well, seems really good be. considering I'm literally at the beginning of the game. Seems pretty neat to me. Okay, got plus one, got plus two. Go get yourself killed. All right, this weapon right. might be a little too strong already. Like, what the fuck? I'm already. I think by having this at plus three, I'm already like halfway to max, which is pretty insane. Anyway, I can use these uh these souls here to just. Give myself more souls. It's pretty helpful, I guess. Okay. What? Me. Reinforced weapon. So you can see here that this Black Knight Greatsword is at plus, uh, plus three already. I think it only goes to a max of plus five. So this is the equivalent of like getting an Executioner's Axe plus nine before like during lair, pretty much like. You're, you're fucking shitting on everyone now at this point. This weapon is a ridiculous thing. I might not even use it too much because it's just a little broken. Um, I might pull it out just whenever I need it. But uh, this this weapon is too big, too thick to be called a sword. It's more like a lump of iron, really, if you think about it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let me slam this asshole. 503 damage. Jesus fucking Christ, man. This is... Literally cheating weapon. Okay, yeah, I might have to not use this weapon. It's a bit cheaty. Like, say what you want. This is just straight up cheating. Look at that. Fuck me. That's a lot of damage. I'm not even swinging, like, with my heavies or anything. I'm just easily doing four times more damage than anyone else in the game. 600 damage. Yeah, alright. That's fair. Swing. That's rough. <laughs> Holy shit, that's rough. Okay, anyway, uh, where are we going? Oh yeah, that's right, we're going back here, okay. 
It begins at the bridge, and thus it ends at the bridge. Slam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm, I'm having my doubts as to whether or not this weapon is a little too easy, so I might have to consider using a different one, because I'm really not, uh, like, I know a lot of people on Reddit and shit said that, on uh, YouTube, said it's really good. I didn't realize it was this good. This weapon hits, like, a little hard. It, it slightly hurts. Like, what the fuck? Hello? And it has a fucking swing move, so it can cleave to kind of. Even through block, it's hitting 91 damage. It's fucked, man. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? What are you doing here? Oh my god, what the fuck? Why is the hell card drink now? What? He's back? I mean, he's not really killing me anymore, right? But why are you back? Oh my god, stop, 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 asshole. Hey. Okay, I don't, I don't know if this is intended gameplay. Is he supposed to come back? Look at the way, he doesn't... He... Dragons are short-sighted naturally, so they can't see... Oh, never mind, he can see me. Hey, he can see me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ah! Uh, fuck. Me. Alright. <laughs> Dragon's a naturally short sighted. He can't see me. Fuck. Alright, I guess he can't see me. Never mind then. What the fuck? Where is going? Alright, I'm just gonna run for it. Before he comes back. He's coming back. Fuck me. Alright, I'm gonna. Now we are in the depths. Using that key we got from the gargoyles, I believe. We are now in the depths. But I might have to just go down this ladder, kill a couple of guys, and then end the video, because it's about 40 minutes, and that means this video is about six gigabytes. And we aren't about that life, surprisingly. Okay, so I think that you can go this way now, and up this hill, up this door, and open this door, and where are we? We're back at Undead Bird. How nice. Ah. This is like, not expected damage. I'm hitting 500 on these guys. Like, for reference, in Dark Souls 3, that's like how much damage my weapon that I've been using for 20 hours max upgraded is doing. This might be a little much. Alright, you know what? Actually, we'll leave it here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I don't know if I should use this weapon. I might have to wait a day or two to let you guys catch up. Um, yeah, this is this weapon is too good. What the fuck? Hey, yeah. That's the end of the video.